Blue Ridge Artisan Days are just around the corner, literally happening this Saturday. And Cynthia Powell is here with a sneak peek of some of the items you could snag. We have some examples here, but it's more important what you can't see here. I, I hear there's some back to school things we could do. Yes, Young Artisan Club is a local nonprofit that supports uh, introducing kids to artisan style crafts. They will be there with a table set up teaching kids how to work with polymer clay and making pens that are unique and individual for each kid. That is so cool. So they can have a back to school supply, but they also have a hand in creating it. So that's something that people can look forward to. They could also look forward to these great items. Talk about just the collaboration of local vendors, what people can expect if they come out Saturday. Sure. Um, we have diamond paintings by Abigail. She has on, um, she has Down syndrome and she uses this as her creative outlet and gets a lot of joy out of meeting people at the events. She makes everything from bookmarkers and coasters up to larger items such as this. And it's beautiful. It is. It is. It sparkles very much. It does sparkle. <laughs> like I, the camera does not do it justice. It is sparkling way more with the lights here. <laughs> and then we do have this hat, which I have just been eyeing. I thought it was embroidery, but it's not. Nope. It is hand burned. Um, which is a new uh, fashion I think we'll see a lot of here in the Tri-Cities area coming up. Um, so this one is actually a felt hat and it's adjustable in size so it's one size fits most and it is <laughs> like created that. by the Vintage City Farmhouse. Yeah and you could really see just how specific the design is. I mean what is that, a, a moose on the front? There is a deer, a doe, and a fawn. Okay. It's a, a mountain scenery. I need to brush up on my animals. Then, but you know what? <laughs> Still beautiful nonetheless. And then we end over here with this colorful display. Very colorful. If you if you love chickens and don't want any in your backyard, this is the perfect perfect, <laughs> perfect replacement. This is made by Floral Designs by Ann. Uh, she moved here about a year ago to be closer to family, and she's retired. So this is what she does in her downtime. She says it keeps her her mind and body active and and keeps her young. And you know, it, it keeps a lot of them young, it keeps a lot of them happy because they're doing what they love to do and then they're finding some joy in selling them to other people who, you know, would like it in turn. I would love something like any of these items here. What do you want people to know if they plan on coming out? I know there's a parking situation. There's a parking situation. So Freedom Hall is very large, has lots of parking lots. If you park in uh, the parking lot closest to the pool, that gives you a zero entry level, no stairs, Perfect. no ups and downs. So that's the best place to come in and, and come out. And then we'll guide you with signs. And if you're a vendor and you're still looking to get in on this, is it too late? No, it is not. We still have some spots available. Okay, good to know. So if you're a vendor watching at home, you could still get in on this. And if you're coming out, you want to park on that lower level yes. at Freedom Hall happening this Saturday. It is free to attend. It'll be held at Freedom Hall. Hall. This is Blue Ridge Artisan Days. It'll be from 9 to 3.30, so be sure to check it out. You know, it might be a few months out from Christmas, but not too early to shop for those Christmas gifts. Support those local vendors. We will be right back.